Hey everyone, Aninda here and on this video I'll be showing you what are the changes uh, which we can find on uh, Android version 5.1 which is the latest build of Lollipop. So uh, yesterday only I installed uh, 5.1 Lollipop on my Nexus 5 and uh, thanks to Google they released the factory images for Nexus 5 but uh, unlucky for the Nexus 6 users uh, as uh, Lollipop 5.1 only released for Nexus 5 and uh, some of the tablet devices uh, on the Nexus lineup. So uh, there are a few changes. So first up, I will show you that uh, first change which you find on this. Uh, see now the uh, pattern lock animation is totally different from the previous one. So we'll just unlock. And uh, here we come to our home screen. Nothing changes on this home screen. There is no change at all. Uh, we'll go to the main menu, no change over here as well. Come to the settings and uh, on about menu here you can see we are running on Android 5.1 which is Lollipop. Let us build and the build number is uh, LMY47D. Coming to the changes, there are actually six uh, main changes. So coming to the first change on the notification panel now uh, we see that uh, all the nearby Wi-Fi hotspots show over here and same goes with the Bluetooth oh, now on this 5.1 the next change is the HD quality audio and uh, dual sim support the next change which you see on the 5.1 update is on the volume sliders now we have the silent button and along with this priority and uh, none feature this none is uh, means silent, no interruption, not even alarms. So this is uh, which the lollipop update has been missing since its launch. Okay, now coming to the next update uh, that goes with the screen pinning option. Uh, for that we need to go to settings and security. And over here we have screen pinning option and uh, this is included with uh, 5.1. Over here we can pin any screen if you want and even we can use some pattern lock on the lock screen. You can pin any page by uh, going through like this and we can pin it over here. Next change which you find on the, this 5.1 is uh, that uh, from now uh, Google has uh, did some changes with its security like uh, on previously if you want like if your phone got stolen then uh, the uh, thief can uh, means factory reset your phone pretty easily where there won't be any necessary to uh, asking like your password and all but on 5.1 google has included that factory reset will only be possible if you enter the right password so without the right password now you can't factory reset your phone so that's a pretty nice feature which uh, Apple devices has even uh, Samsung phone nowadays uh, comes with. Now there are few small changes uh, which came with the 5.1 uh, starting with the clock here you see now uh, we have some animation at the top which is going on over here. Those uh, things were not present on uh, the lollipop update but on 5.1 it is there. Next small update would be like uh, Users have reported that uh, once we press this uh, home button on Nexus device that uh, it used to show that white icon over here means there is a bug used to be there that Google fixed that bug. Found a bug on this 5.1 update that's with the camera application but uh, where I uh, started the camera and it gave me an error camera could not connect that sort of error but uh, I fixed that issue by updating the Google camera application from Play Store. Okay, next small update would be like uh, once you receive a notification and it shows at the top over here and if you swipe from here on 5.0 uh, then uh, if you swipe from here then uh, that notification will be gone from this notification tray as well. But on 5.1 if you get a notification and it shows at the top over here if you swipe from here then the notification will still be visible on your notification panel. and uh, last but not the least Google has uh, said like they have fixed the memory leak issue which was present on the lollipop update and they also said like there are few performance upgrades as well stability upgrades and also 
better battery life so let's see uh, if google uh, means could fix the battery life or not but let me show you the battery which i'm getting right now uh, see i charged this phone to 100% and i started using this from 11 am see uh, I, I think around 10:45 uh, or so and it's already 58% and the screen on time i got around 1 hour 45 minutes and it's already on the halfway so let's see how much battery they have improved we'll check out that as uh, my screen on time i used to get around 3 hour 30 minutes and uh, let's see uh, how google has implemented the battery issues and all so that's it for this uh, video guys that's the changes which you find on android 5.1 lollipop on my nexus 5 so thanks for watching this video this is on in the take care